live from Las Vegas, Nevada, USA, it's the 1996 Miss Universe pageant. With your host, Entertainment Tonight, Bob Bowen. Your co-host, the beautiful Marla Maples Trump. The reigning Miss Universe, Chelsea Smith. And special guest star, the incomparable Michael Crawford. the 79 candidates for the title of Miss Universe 1996 with their scores from the preliminary competition. We begin our parade of nations with the senoritas from South America, beginning with Uruguay. Buenas noches, I am Sandra Maidana. I'm proud to represent the land of natural beauty, Uruguay. Uruguay. Hola, my name is Marta Lovera and I come from the heart of South America, Paraguay. Argentina. Hola, I am Veronica Ledesma from the country that treats you with open arms, Argentina. Peru. Buenas noches, my name is Natalie Saco. I am representing the land of the Incas, Trujillo, Peru. Colombia. Hola, my name is Lina Gaviria. I come from the land of the exotic orchid, Colombia. Ecuador. Buenas noches, I am Monica Chala. I come from where's the hemisphere meets Ecuador. Bolivia. Hola, I'm Natalia Cronin Molaguilera from the country where the Amazons and the Amis meet. Bolivia. Brazil. Buenas noches, my name is Maria Suena and I represent in the tropical paradise of Brazil. Venezuela. Hola, amigos del universo. My name is Alicia Machado. I come from the gateway of South America, Venezuela. And Chile. Hola, I'm Vermontes and Desserts from Chile, the land that has it all. And now, the delegates from the island, beginning with Northern Marianas. Half a day from the 14 sunny islands of the Northern Marianas, I'm Belvlin Ada Tenorio. The Dominican Republic. Hola, I'm Sandra Abreu, from the land where your heart flames to the rhythms of merengue, the Dominican Republic. Aruba. Bonochi, my name is Karim Mansell, and I come to you from the one and happy island, Aruba. Trinidad and Tobago. Hello, I'm Michelle Kahn from the Rainbow Country, Trinidad and Tobago. Bonaire. Bonacci, I'm Jessica Vizesa from the unhurried, unspoiled, and unforgettable Bonaire. Puerto Rico. Hola, I'm the Tropical Island of Enchantment. I am Saribel Belilla, representing Puerto Rico. The Cook Island. Kia from a special 
special friends with that special magic and Victoria Carr from the Cook Islands. Curacao. Hi, I am Vanessa Mumby representing a unique blend of cultures living on the island of Curacao. Turks and Caicos. Good evening, proudly representing the friendly smiles of Turks and Caicos Islands, I am Shanika Lightborn. The Cayman Islands. Hello, representing the most beautiful island in the Caribbean, I am Tasha Ebanks of the Cayman Islands. The British Virgin Islands. Hello everyone, I am Lynette Smith, representing Native Little Secret, the British Virgin Islands. The Bahamas. Greetings, I am Michelle Colley, coming to you from the 700 Fantasy Islands of the Bahamas. And Jamaica. Good evening, everyone. My name is Trudy Ferguson. I'm from the island of Reggae, Jamaica. Say hello now to the candidates from Europe and the British Isles, starting with Norway. Well, I'm Ingelise Ebertov. This is Norwegian Independence Day. Happy birthday, Norway. Switzerland. Gottenabig, my name is Stephanie Berger, and I come from the land of time, Switzerland. Portugal. Hola, I'm Rita Carvalho. I came from the land of explorers, Portugal. Sweden. Good afternoon. My name is Annika Dukvai, and I'm representing the land of the midnight sun, Sweden. The Slovak Republic. Dobry večer. From straight into the heart of Europe, I'm Iva Tejan Klarova of the Slovak Republic. Great Britain. Hello, representing Great Britain, where history, tradition, and royalty reigns. I'm Anita St. Rose. Denmark. Good afternoon. From Denmark, the birthplace of the Little Mermaid and pastry, I am Anita Oldenborn. The Ukraine. Dobry večer. I am Irena Borisova, and I invite you all to my friendly homeland of Ukraine. Ireland. Kate me the fall show. My name is Joan Black from Ireland, the Emerald Isle. Iceland. Golfantin. My name is Hafni Trafstestotter, proudly representing the natural beauty of Iceland. France. Bonsoir. My name is Laure Belleville. I come from the fashion capital of the world, France. Estonia. Terentos. My name is Helen Mahmoudson, proudly representing a free and independent Estonia. Germany. Good afternoon, my name is Herren. My name is Miriam Ruppert, and I proudly represent a reunited Germany. Poland. Dzień dobry. I'm Monika Kruszczycka Nemczak, and I represent the homeland of Friedrich Chopin, Poland. Hungary. Miłosz I am Andra Deak from the Bread Basket of Tyrol, Hungary. Finland. Hyvää I am Lola Odusoga, and I come from the country where tolerance and northern lights shine bright, Finland. Bulgaria. My name is Maria Sinigirova. I come from the land of roses, Bulgaria. Romania. Nice you are. My name is Roberta Anastasia and I'm coming from the country where tennis makes his delta, Romania. Russia. Dobry večer. I am Elmira Shamsuddinova and I come to you from Russia with love. The Netherlands. Buren Athens, representing the country of tulips and windmills. My name is Mariana Graf from the Netherlands. The Czech Republic. Krasny večer from Prague, the heart of Europe. I'm Renata Hornokova from Czech Republic. And Belgium. Goedenavond, dames en heren. I'm Veronique de Kok, representing the diamond capital of Europe, Belgium. Now let's meet the ladies from Asia and the lands down under, starting with Thailand. Sawadee I am Nira Shla Kamya from the land of Tenten Smai, Thailand. Australia. Good evening, I'm Jodie McMullen, representing the home of the 2000 Olympics, Sydney, Australia. Hong Kong. Hello, I'm Sophie Wyman from the shopping paradise of Hong Kong. Indonesia. Selamat malam, my name is Alia Rohali, representing the Emerald of Southeast Asia, Indonesia. New Zealand. Kia and good evening, I'm Sarah Brady, representing the clean green islands of New Zealand. Taiwan, the Republic of China. Hello, I'm Chen Xiaofan, representing Taiwan, Republic of China. Singapore. Good evening, my name is Angeline Pat. I'm representing the clean and peaceful country, Singapore. Korea. Hello, I'm Kim Yun-dong from the land of Monikam, Korea. Malaysia. Selamat sejahtera and good evening. I'm Adelie Ong, representing the multicultural Malaysia. India. Namaste from India, a country which embodies unity through diversity. I'm Sandhya Chir. 
Sri Lanka. Ayubowan from Sri Lanka, where the spirit of the people builds for a brighter future. I'm Shivampani Dharmasiri. And the Philippines. Hi, my name is Eileen Langamilan, and I come from the Free Republic of the Philippines. Now, greet the delegates from the Mediterranean, the Middle East, and Africa, beginning with Italy. Ciao, I am Anna Valle from Italy, the country of culture, pasta, and fashion. Spain. Hola, I'm Maria Jose Suarez. I come from Europe's capital of beauty and laughter, España. Malta. In San Luco, I'm Rosen Farrugia, bringing you greetings from the island nation of Malta. Cyprus. Yes, yes, representing Cyprus, the island of Venus, the goddess of beauty and prosperity. South Africa. Sunny Bona, I am Carol Becker from Mandela's Rainbow Nation, South Africa. Egypt. Alan Bikum, I am Hadila Bunaga, representing the land of civilization, Egypt. Turkey. We are shown by AFC Yosef from the modern country with Asian past Turkey. Israel. Shalom, my name is Gerard Silati, and I'm coming from the ancient land of Israel. Namibia. Now uh, I am Fatma Absalom, representing the beautiful smile of Africa, Namibia. Greece. Yes, yes I'm Nina Yogala, and I'm proud to represent the birthplace of the Olympic spirit, Greece. Ghana. I'm Paul Alma, from the shining star of Africa's Gold Coast, Ghana. Zimbabwe. Salivona from Zimbabwe, where the waterfall stand and in wildlife thrive. I'm Langa Swanda. And Lebanon. Masanjera, I'm Julia Suriani from the land of the cedars and the pearl of the east, Lebanon. And now, here are the candidates from Central and North America, starting with Costa Rica. Hola, I am Daphne Celedon. I represent the country of the peace and natural beauty, Costa Rica. Belize. Good evening. From the largest living coral reef in the world, I am Ava Lovell from Belize City, Belize. Honduras. Buenas noches, my name is Jasmine Piaios, and I come from the heart of Central America, Honduras. Guatemala. Hola, my name is Carla Beteta, and I come from the heart of the Mundo Maya, Guatemala. Panama. Hola, amigos, I'm Reina Arroyo from the land of the world united, the Republic of Panama. El Salvador. Buenas noches, I am Milena Mayorga, representing the country of the eternal smile, El Salvador. Canada. Where cultures from around the world unite as one, I'm Renee Cruz, representing Canada. Mexico. Spectacular ladies. When we return, we'll reveal the 10 semifinalists and begin our live competition for the title of Miss Universe 1996. Ladies and gentlemen, your host for the 1996 Miss Universe pageant, Bob Gold. Thanks, ladies. Thanks. How y'all doing? Welcome. Woo! What a night. Good evening to you one and all. Welcome to the 45th annual Miss Universe pageant and welcome to the Aladdin Theater of the Performing Arts here in Las Vegas, Nevada, the most exciting city in the world, isn't it? Ooh. I know we've had fun this week. You know that spectacular electric show that you saw at the opening? That's the Fremont Street Experience, and it is just one of the new attractions in this city since the Miss Universe pageant was here back in 1991. 
Las Vegas just seems to have something new and incredible opening every week of the year, but tonight it is our turn, and we are glad that you're here to share it with us. We have a fantastic show for you tonight, and I have the perfect co-host to help me bring you all the glamour and the excitement this evening. Please welcome the beautiful and charming Marla Maples Trump. Yeah! Look at you! Hello, Bob. Fabulous. Thank you. This is fun. It is great. You look dynamite. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Doesn't she look great? How about this for a fantastic oh, group, huh? Oh, they are amazing. Yeah. I have had the good fortune to be with these ladies all week long, and they are all such incredible women. Yeah. Do, do you know? Do you realize now we have 600 million people watching us around the oh, world tonight? thank you. Thank you very much. You're making me nervous <laughs> already. No, no, no. you got oh. nothing to worry about. I mean, you've done all this kind of stuff. Movies, TV. You were in Will Rogers' Follies on Broadway. And I know that you were even in a pageant yourself, right, Miss Georgia? Oh, gosh, that... I have a feeling my past is coming back to haunt me now. No, no this is not going to haunt you. Look, do we have this, Glenn? Roll this, would we? Come on. <laughs> 1983, ladies and gentlemen, Miss Georgia USA competition. Our own Marla Maples Trump. Big, strong girl then, huh? <laughs> did, did you win? No. I played third, win? but oh. it's okay because Donald tells everyone that I won, so it's fine. <laughs> really? Well, <laughs> who am I to argue with the Donald, right? Never, never, never. Also, we want to remind everybody in our audience that later this evening, we have a beautiful musical number with our special guest star. You oh, know who that yes, is. Oh, yes, we do. The fabulous Michael Crawford. Michael Crawford is here tonight. <laughs> yeah. Now, meanwhile, you're going to be keeping us up to date on the scores and what's going on backstage and all that stuff, right? I will, and later in the show, I'll be announcing the winner of the Miss Photogenic Award that our audience has been voting on through our internet site, right. the 90s. We've gone computer. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. We've got a lot of ground to cover, so let's get going, shall we? Okay. okay. Thank you. See you later. Marla Maples, mwah, Trump. I that. There she goes. Good luck. Now. We come to the first major turning point of the evening. From this group of 79 fantastically beautiful young women, our judges have chosen 10 semifinalists who will continue in tonight's competition. You saw their preliminary scores during the Parade of Nations, and now I'm going to read the names of the top 10 to you in random order. The first semifinalist for the title of Miss Universe 1996 is Miss India, Sandhya Chin. Sandhya is 19 and a student and model from Bangalore. Miss Finland, Lola Arasoga. 18-year-old Lola is a model from Turku. Miss Peru, Natalie Sacco. Natalie is 21 and an architecture student at Trujillo University. Miss Sweden, Annika Dukmark. 24-year-old An Anika is from the town of Buras and studies economics. And rounding out the first half of our semifinalists, Miss Mexico, Vanessa Guzman! Vanessa is from Ciudad Juarez. She's 20 and a student in international relations. Next is Miss USA! a 22-year-old broadcasting major and is from Brobridge, Louisiana. Miss Russia, Elmira Shamsudinova. 20-year-old Elmira is a fitness instructor from the town of Saratov. Miss El Salvador, Milena Mayorga. Milena is 20 years old and a student and TV host from San Salvador. Only two spots remain. One of them goes to Miss Aruba, Tareen Mansell. Tareen is 19, a college student, and comes from the village of Dakota. And the last woman with a chance to become Miss Universe 1996, Miss Venezuela, Alicia Machado. 19-year-old Alicia is a law student and model from Maracay. Well, there they are, 10 fabulous ladies, and one of them is going to become the new Miss Universe. We're going to get to know all of them when we begin the semifinals with the interview competition. It's coming up right after this, so stay with us. When in Vegas, do as the Romans do. Stay tuned.
live from Las Vegas, Nevada, it's the 1996 Miss Universe pageant. Here's Bob Goen. Okay, we're ready to begin tonight's competition, but first it's time to meet the nine very important people who have the very difficult task of choosing the next Miss Universe. These are our judges. And here to introduce them to you, some of Las Vegas's most familiar faces. An audience, if you would, please hold your applause until all of them have been introduced. She's done over two dozen movies, many TV parts, and she's the only woman who's co-starred in two James Bond movies. Her new movie, Ringer, comes out in the fall. I'm Trent Carlini, and I'm all shook up for Sweetens. How you doing, honey? Maude Adams. Thank you, Elvis. This fellow anchors the sporting world's most prestigious events. The Final Four, the Masters, the Winter Olympics. He's the voice of CBS Sports, and he's cuter than a bug's ear. Please welcome Mr. Jim Nance. She has a new recording contract. Her second CD will be out this fall. She's known to daytime TV viewers as Kristen Forster on CBS's The Bold and the Beautiful Babes. She definitely has hot legs. Actress Terry Ann Lynn. He launched the careers of Gloria Stefan and John Cicada and produced five Grammy award-winning albums. Among his current projects is a theme song to this summer's Olympics. He's a man who's always in vogue, Emilio Estefan Jr. Acclaimed for her stage, TV, and film work, a Tony nominee and winner of an N NAACP award, she co-starred as Whitney Houston's mother in Waiting to Exhale, She's Got the Way to Move Me, Baby, Starletta Dupois. Hey, man. TV audiences know this Hong Kong native and Juilliard graduate as Lon Bullen on the CBS daytime hit, The Young and the Restless. She's a real cool chick. She's an actress and an AIDS activist, Elizabeth Sung. I got friends in low places, but this guy would never hang out there. This native Australian received British and Australian awards, as well as an Oscar for his work on Priscilla, Queen of the Desert. He's a costume designer, Tim Chappelle. host of Chile's top-rated TV show, Viva El Lunes, an Emmy Award-winning journalist, former CNN anchor, actress, and Miss Universe 1987. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Cecilia Beloco. I knew a girl like I couldn't ask for a more beautiful, talented guy to introduce than the only actor, producer, director with a Super Bowl ring. His newest film, Original Gangsters, has just opened. He's former football great Fred the Hammer <laughs> Williamson. And here, once again, is the lovely Marla Maples Trump. Why, thank you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, our judges for the 1996 Miss Universe pageant. And thanks to the Imperial Palace and the Legends in Concert lookalikes for introducing our judges. They're all great, aren't they? Except for that last guy. I have no idea who that was supposed to be. Let's take a moment now to talk about scoring in tonight's competition. Each judge will enter a score ranging from 1.0 to 9.99, like this in our computer terminal. The contestant's highest score and lowest scores are thrown out, just as they do in the Olympics. Then the other scores are then averaged. Each contestant receives an average score from the interview, swimsuit, and evening gown competition. Then those three scores are added and averaged again for a composite semifinal score. Those composite semifinal scores are important because only the top six will go to the finals. We're ready to begin, so let's go back to Bob. Uh, well, you know, we have delegates from 79 countries speaking some, I don't know, 30 different languages, and you would be amazed at how quickly they figure out their own system of translating from language to language to language so that they can get to know each other. Well, right now, we're going to give you the opportunity to get to know our 10 semifinalists just a little bit better here in the interview competition. Now, for those delegates who have requested them, we have interpreters from De La Vega's Professional Translating Services Incorporated standing by. And we start with Miss India. She is Sundia Chib. She is from Bangalore, India. She is 19 years old and a media major who has actually trekked the Himalayan mountains, not once, but twice. Now, trekking the Himalayan, this is not just a little day hike, right? No, it wasn't. It, it, you go overnight, you're out there for a long time? 
Yes, six weeks the first time. No kidding? No. Where do you sleep and, like, you know, what do you wear and all that? Uh, you wear really warm clothes because it's freezing. You sleep right. in a tent. And when you can't find, you know, ground showing through the snow, you pitch your tent on the snow. Oh, oh man, that's <laughs> you grueling. You try it sometimes. Oh, yeah, right, right. You'd I love it. No, no, no. I get the hives when I get about a mile away from my blow dryer, so it's not going to work out. Um, so, so are you going to do this again, you think? Yes, I hope to do it every year. It was yeah. the most wonderful experience. I loved it. Maybe I'll just have a Sherpa guide move in with me for a while and get started that way. Maybe. It might work. Okay, thank you, Miss India. Step over there. That is Sandhya Chib. Next, say hello to Miss Finland, Lola Adusoga. Lola is 18 years old. She's a model and a championship ballroom dancer. Now, look, I'm no Finnish expert, but Odusoga does not sound Finnish to me. Well, it doesn't because my father is from Nigeria and it's an African name. Ah, I see. Okay. Now, but you grew up in Finland. Yes, I did. I born there. Yeah. I, now, look, we have a picture of you. Do we have this, Glenn? Can you show us this picture of her as a, a young child? <laughs> now, again, I'm no Finnish expert, but are they always stuffing kids in bags in Finland? Well, my brother used to, they did, they did all that kind of fun thing with me. They used to put me sitting into the bag, and that's not even the worst, I think. Oh, it got worse than that. Yeah, I think so, but I don't remember it right now. <laughs> okay, well, I don't want to get into it. It's too ugly, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I yeah, think so. Okay, never mind then. Thanks a lot, Miss Finland. That is Lola Odusoga. Now we meet Natalie Sacco. She is Miss Peru. She's 21 years old and a university student majoring in architecture. Natalie has requested an interpreter to be standing by. Now, how much more school do you have to complete before you become a full-fledged architect? Eh, ¿Qué te falta en cuanto a años en la escuela para terminar tu carrera como arquitecto? Bueno, más que nada, un año y medio nada más para terminar. I only have a year and a half left to go. Oh, that's great. Now, what do you plan on, what's your, let me ask it another way. If you could design your dream project, what would it be? Si, pusier, si pudieras diseñar un uh, proyecto que eh, fuera un sueño para ti, ¿qué sería? Bueno, el sueño que yo tengo para diseñar es en mi país. Es un parque de recreaciones, pero que tenga muchos complejos deportivos internos. Y donde la gente pueda entrar de cualquier clase social. My dream is to build in my country a recreational park. This is a recreational park that would also have uh, sporting complexes within it, and I would want for people of every social class to be able to have access to it. Now, speaking of sports, I know that you, you like American basketball, right? Hablando de los deportes, tengo entendido que a ti te gusta el basketball norteamericano. Sí. Yeah, what's your favorite team? ¿Cuál es su equipo favorito? Chicago Bulls. Chicago Bulls, okay, there you go. Thank you very much, Miss Peru. That is Natalie Sacco. Next up, we have Annika Dukmark. She is Miss Sweden. She's 24 years old. She enjoys skiing, backpacking. And believe this or not, she competed against 5,000 other applicants for the title of Miss Sweden. That's pretty heavy competition. Yes, it is. Yeah. Now, how did you get involved in the pageant? How did you enter? Well, it was like this last year. I was uh, laid off at my job as a banker. Yeah. And uh, I started to apply for a lot of different jobs. But the, it is quite hard to get a job in Sweden today. And then I saw this ad about being a Sweden. So I thought I'll try that, too. And it worked. So, <laughs> why not? It beats sitting behind a desk, doesn't it? Yeah, it is. Now, are you going to get a chance to, to see any more of the United States besides Las Vegas while you're here? Yes, I plan to go for two weeks vacation in Los Angeles before I go to Sweden again. With family or friends or what? Yes, with my family. Oh, okay. That, that could be a wild time. I'd look out for the guys in, in Los Angeles. They're pretty crazy there. I'll do that. Okay. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Miss Sweden. There is Annika Dukmar. Now we have Vanessa Guzman, Miss Mexico. Vanessa is 20 years old, a university student majoring in international studies, and she has requested an interpreter to kind of stand by in case we get stuck. Sounds like you brought a few friends with you here. Well, there's, there's a lot of people from Mexico, uh, from two hours, especially from my town. Thanks for being here. It's starting to sound like a soccer match in here. Yeah, let's uh, control ourselves. Um, now, what are you going to do when you graduate from school? 
Well, um, I really want to work. I really want to be um, a diplomat. And one of my dreams will be uh, working in an embassy. It will be uh, such an honor for me and for my country. I really love my country. I'm proud of it, and I would like to work at it. Okay, let me put you to the test. You want to be a diplomat. Right now, relations between the United States and Mexico are a little bit strained because of immigration problems. How would you smooth that over? Well, I think we have to uh, start in our country. I mean, Mexicans, uh, if our country will be in a, such a nice way, we didn't need to uh, go to some other place to look for our future. So I think we uh, should start in our country and we especially help our people from Mexico and then not let them go to some other place. All right, thank you very much, Miss Mexico. That is Vanessa Guzman. Okay, ladies, thanks. That completes our first five interviews. Marla, where are you? I'm way up here, Bob. Oh, man, you're way up there. Wow, do you think Mexico has some fans here? We'll have interviews with the rest of our semifinalists when we come back, so stay tuned. My name is Penn Gillette. This is my partner, Teller. We are Penn and Teller. And the Miss Universe pageant will be back after this. Not after that, but after this, coming up now. Well, we are back with our live competition from Las Vegas. We continue with the interviews and Miss USA. She is Allie Landry, 22-year-old university student who comes to us right from the heart of Cajun country, Broad Bridge, Louisiana. Well, obviously, you've got some friends with you tonight, but you're from Broad Bridge, Louisiana. This, you're winning this USA thing. has got to be the biggest thing to hit that town since Hurricane Andrew. <laughs> It is. Uh, the town is about 6,000 people. Yeah. The most unbelievable thing for me is when I went home for my homecoming. I didn't. I hadn't been home in about a month. I was in California, right. and I got home, and there was an estimated about 30,000 people that was going to come to my little town. We've got footage and of that. Look, there it is. Look, there. look, look. There she is. 30,000 people in a town of 6,000. It was. It was wonderful. I was really completely touched by it. That's amazing. Now, obviously, you have a lot of friends here. Do you have family here tonight? Yes, I have a huge family. I have about 18 sets of aunts and uncles and 47 first cousins. Wow. But I think the whole town is here. But I think they're here because they get to gamble, too. So don't lose oh. all your money. <laughs> Good advice. Okay, thanks a lot. Allie Landry, Miss USA. Now, let's meet Miss Russia, Elmira Shamsutinova. She recently moved to Moscow, is 20 years old, and works in her family's business as a shaping instructor. And we've got the Russian interpreter here, so you can ask her what a shaping instructor is, although I think I know. What is a shaping instructor? It's a person who makes women look more beautiful than she really is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How long have you been involved in this? How long have you been involved in this? Я учусь уже два года, и свое дело с родителями мы имеем уже три года. I'm studying this business for the last two years, and my parents have this business for the past three years. Now, you know, I always have the problem where I find myself in a position where I have to lose like five pounds really fast. How can I do that safely? Make that eight pounds. Я иногда мне хочется похудеть на пять или на восемь фунтов. Как это можно сделать наиболее быстрым способом? Я думаю, что прежде всего нужно отказаться от снэксов. What is she laughing at? I think that, first of all, you have to deny yourself of snacks. Ah, thanks a lot. Okay, thank you, Miss Russia. That is Ilmira Shamsutinova. Now we meet Milena Mayorga, Miss El Salvador. Milena is 20 years old. 
she co-hosts a television program back in San Salvador, which I'm sure makes you pretty famous in your hometown, but you're not the only famous woman in your family. I know your grandmother is very accomplished, right? Yes, um, I'm very proud of her achievements. She started uh, her political career at 18 years old. She was, in that time, it was very difficult yeah. for the woman, and she was ma mayor of her city. She was the first female state governor in the history of Venezuela. She was the first female candidate of the presidents of Venezuela. She was in the Senate for 15 years, so I feel very proud of her. I love her, and she has been always with me, giving me her support, her love. Has she ever and tried to talk you into getting into politics? Yeah, she wants me to, to go to politics, but I, I don't know. But right now, I feel, I don't know where she is, but I want to tell her in Spanish, te quiero mucho, gracias por todo. I don't know. Okay, I don't think we need an interpreter for that. I think she understood. Thank you, Miss El Salvador. That is Melina Mayorga. Now we say hello to Miss Aruba, Tareen Mansell. She's a 19-year-old student studying for a career in hotel management. She speaks four languages, enjoys jogging, and says her favorite musical group is the Beatles. You're too young to be into the Beatles, aren't you? I'm young, but I like it because they have made uh, history. So did you, your parents turned you on to the Beatles, or where did they come from? No, no, no. Es porque ellos, por su música, hicieron historia, y me parece que hicieron una unión en nosotros, en todos. Y me parece un grupo muy, muy bonito. No, it's because through their music, they made history. They uh, created a unifying element for us, and uh, their group uh, was just very beautiful. Now, I know you speak four languages. You speak Spanish, Dutch, English, and Papamiento. What, what is that, and say something for us in that language? Well, Papamiento is a dialect. It contains Spanish, Dutch, English, and a little bit of Portuguese. Um, mi te estima vos tour, mi te hopi contento de tawe no chiquinana, y mi te espera que vos lo disfruta de a no chiqui. Can you tell us what that was? You don't know that one either. That, that far, I don't go. Didn't think so. Okay, thank you, Ms. Aruba. Step right over there if you would, please. That is Tareen Mansell. And finally, we meet Miss Venezuela, Alicia Machado. Alicia is 19 years old. She is studying law and business management. She'd like to have her own restaurant someday. She's also requested an interpreter. I understand your father is in the toy business. Is that right? Entiende que tu padre está en el negocio de los juguetes, ¿es cierto? Así es, mi padre tiene dos jugueterías en Venezuela, eh, de la ciudad donde yo soy, de Maracay. Y bueno, tiene mi edad, 20 años, de fundar la juguetería y bueno, y he compartido muchas cosas lindas allí. Well, yes, as a matter of fact, my father does have two toy stores in the city of Maracay, in Venezuela, where I come from, and he's had them for the last 20 years, and I've shared many of those toys. Every day is like Christmas at your house, right? Todos los días es como si fuera el día de Navidad en tu casa, ¿verdad? Sí, bueno, un poco. Yo pienso que siempre es día de Navidad en mi casa porque mi padre es un hombre que ama a los niños y creo que por eso tiene el negocio que tiene. Aparte de que yo he podido compartir la oportunidad de estar ahí todos los años en Navidad con cada uno de esos niños que va a comprar y es muy interesante saber las ilusiones de los niños. Yes, I do believe that uh, it's Christmas every day in my home because my father loves children very much and I have had the opportunity to share the good times at Christmas with children and that is something that everybody should do. Do you speak any English at all? Uh, yes. What? A little, okay? Okay. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, Quickly. Okay. Welcome to entertainment tonight. You, you have Bob Goyne and me. There, oh, and you. Okay, great. She can plug my show anytime. Tell her that later. Thank you very much, Miss Venezuela. That is Alicia Machado. All right, that completes our interview competition. Thank you all, ladies. Weren't they terrific? Really a great bunch of women. Oh, yes, I'm very glad I'm not judging tonight. Las Vegas is a city full of celebrities and fantasies. You never know who you'll meet, and you never know what might happen. Just ask our reigning Miss Universe, Chelsea Smith. Where's my tour guide? I'm ready for my Viva Las Vegas you tour. You said the magic words, baby. You are my tour guide? Come on, let's knock it on, shoot the... Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know. Well, who knows this town better than me, honey? It's not You know, you look a lot like... Thank you very much. Come on, let's start our tour.
Well, you know, honey, Las Vegas is a city of many illusions. There's fun and magic everywhere. I'll show you magic. Pick a card. Wait, wait, that's been done to death. Fantastic. This is one of the prizes the new Miss Universe takes home. She wins $5,000 in a fabulous array of Exclamation Fragrance products. Exclamation lets you make a statement without saying a word. Exclamation, official fragrance of the Miss Universe pageant. And there's lots more. Who are you talking to? Elvis, he's standing right here. You don't see him? You Elvis fans are very strange. Hey, we're at the fantastic Luxor Hotel. Hey, you have a fantastic new hairdo. I had lots of help from Finesse, the official hair care brand of tonight's pageant. They'll award the new Miss Universe $10,000 plus a year's supply of Finesse to give her hair superior conditioning while providing softness and body. Finesse is available in shampoo, conditioner, and styling products. There's a thousand pretty women waiting in there on the mile. The new hotels in Las Vegas are like theme parks, and these beautiful visitors love them. They're all headed for the Finesse Hair Clinic, where Helene Curtis stylists provide expert advice on hair care. Cut, tease, straighten, mousse, gel, color, so many choices and so little time. Real people, Las Vegas turning day and night time, turning light and daytime. If you see it once, never be the same again. Our winner takes home a $20,000 wardrobe from Daryl Jagger Couture. Suits, dresses, slacks, and blouses. Everything Miss Universe needs for her business and casual appearances. Pretty as a picture. Pictures? How about this? The persona of our winner will be captured forever in her $25,000 portrait in oil by world-renowned artist Anthony Guerrero, official portrait artist of the 1996 Miss Universe pageant. Nice work. You should paint a picture of him, Anthony. Who? Oh, I forgot no one else can see you but me. Uh, that's okay, baby. It probably doesn't work on black velvet anyway. Are you ready for our next stop? It's a matter of time. And speaking of time, the new Miss Universe receives a gorgeous 18 karat gold ladies watch studded with 200 diamonds, awarded by Bertolucci Watch Company, the leader in Italian design Swiss classics. Fabulous. What is this? It's the newest spot in Vegas, baby. The Stratosphere Hotel and Tower. And it's opening night tonight. How high is that? A hundred stories. And there's a roller coaster up there. No way. Not me. Ooh, why would Chelsea go for it? We'll catch up with you later. When we return, we'll have the, all the interview scores in the next semifinal event, the swimsuit competition, right after this word from Secret and a Burst Front. Strong enough for a man, but pH balanced for a woman. Here again, Marla Maples Trump. We're back live from Las Vegas, Nevada, and we have the interview scores. Wow, looks pretty close. Miss Venezuela, do you know she is so popular that she has actually been on the cover of a cereal, cereal box? Looks like we have a close second with USA. The interview competition is the first of three semifinal events, so remember that the leaders can easily change after we add the scores for the evening gown and the swimsuit competitions. We're ready for the swimsuit competition right now, so here's Bob. Okay, Marla, thanks. Well, we have shown you some of the spectacular sights of Las Vegas as it is today, but we thought it'd be fun to kind of take a trip back in time to the Vegas of the 50s. You know, that was the decade when fancy casinos were really beginning to flourish, and the town became a magnet for movie stars and high rollers and, of course, beautiful women. And tonight, the beautiful women of the Miss Universe pageant take us back to the fabulous 50s in the Janssen swimsuit competition. They'll also be modeling Payless shoes, and we begin with Miss India. Oh, black magic has been a spell. Sundia Chib. Miss 
Miss Finland. Lola Odesoga. Guzman. Salvador.
Wow. When we return, we'll have those very important swimsuit scores with a special prize for the winner. And the song you've all been waiting for from the fabulous Michael Crawford. Don't miss it. I'm the Queen of the Nile. Stay tuned to find out who'll become the next Queen of the Universe. The 1996 Miss Universe pageant continues. Here again is Marla Maples Trump. We're back live from the Aladdin Theater in Las Vegas. We now have the scores from the swimsuit competition. Well, here we are, Miss Venezuela is again in the lead with Aruba and Russia behind her. Russia, I figured, would do good, seeing as though she is a fitness instructor. And Jansen will award the winner, Miss Venezuela, Alicia Machada, a $1,000 prize. Now, let's go back to Bob. Now, we'd like to take a moment here to thank all the wonderful people of Las Vegas who have helped us make the Miss Universe pageant such a success. And especially Mr. David J. Smith, who is chairman of the Las Vegas Events Board of Trustees, and Paul Christensen, chairman of the Las Vegas Convention and Visitors Authority. Thank you both so very much. Now, anyone who has visited this town recently knows that Michael Crawford, the new king of Las Vegas, is starring at the MGM Grand in the largest production show in the world, EFX. Let's take a look. EFX, it's a magic world where rules do not apply. EFX, it's a brand new world where any dream can fly. EFX, magic and mystery turn to reality in the world. And now we are pleased to introduce the Tony Award-winning star of Phantom of the Opera, joined by the reigning Miss Universe, Chelsea Smith, and all of our delegates singing Phantom's The Music of the Night. Ladies and gentlemen, the incomparable Michael Crawford. Oh. 
I'm breathless. Now don't go away. You'll have a chance to get a closer look at the beautiful gowns that our semi-finalists are wearing in the evening gown competition right after this. show from Las Vegas. The delegates have been here in Las Vegas for three weeks, and during that time, there have been several other competitions taking place behind the scenes. This year, the best national costume competition was judged by dignitaries from Las Vegas. The $1,000 prize in Miss Universe trophy went to Miss Russia, Emira Chansudinova. The Miss Congeniality Award is special because the delegates vote on it themselves. This year's winner is Miss Australia, Jody McMullen, who takes home a Miss Universe trophy and $1,000. Helene Curtis representatives judge delegates on their personal style. The winner of a trophy and $1,000 for the That Takes Finesse Award is Miss Venezuela, Alicia Machado. And later in the show, we'll find out who you chose as Miss Photogenic with your votes on our internet site. Now let's go back to Bob. Okay, Marla. Well, you know Las Vegas is famous for the most glittering and glamorous entertainment in the world. And our semifinalists are going to enhance that reputation tonight in the 1996 Miss Universe pageant evening gown competition. We begin with Miss India.
USA. Salvador. Miss Aruba. Just beautiful, all of you. Thank you, ladies. That concludes our semifinal competition. And in case you were wondering, yes, those really were Liberace's very own candelabra on the piano. Don't you just love Las Vegas? When we return, we will have the scores from the evening gown competition, and we will reveal the six finalists for the title of Miss Universe 1996. So stay tuned. Once again.
again, your co-host, Carla Maples Truck. We are back and we have those very important scores. The scores for the last semifinal event, the evening gown competition. Look at that, Miss Venezuela is in the lead again, but Miss USA is right there behind her. These scores have now been added to the swimsuit and interview competition scores. In a few moments, we'll reveal the top six delegates who will go on to the finals. While we're waiting for the scores to be verified, let's catch another episode of the continuing Las Vegas adventures of our reigning Miss Universe, Chelsea Smith. I'm glad you finally convinced me to come up here. It's a beautiful view. I've already ridden with 78 delegates. I mean, isn't that enough? They can't even see you. Oh, come on, honey. I haven't ridden Miss Argentina yet. Just one more ride. From the new Stratosphere Tower Hotel and Casino, Miss Universe wins a fabulous vacation, including unlimited adventure on the Let It Ride High Roller and Big Shot Ride, first class air and limo, two bedroom suite with meals, and much more, all from the Stratosphere in Las Vegas. Boy, that was a wild ride. I can't wait to see where we're going next. Miss Universe receives $5,000 cash plus a year's supply of Joey DeVoe Cosmetics, created especially to enhance individual ethnicity on a global scale. Eyes, lips, and skin come alive with radiant new beauty. For women of all ages, it's Joey DeVoe. You look great, baby. You'll really enjoy the next spot. It's a real Las Vegas oasis. The family-style Alexis Park Hotel is a real oasis in Las Vegas. This non-gaming, all-suite resort also has gourmet cuisine in an elegant setting. The new Miss Universe wins a brand new Saturn, America's number one car in customer satisfaction. Not only is it reliable, it's loaded with everything a girl could want. Awarded by Saturn of West Sahara, number one in Saturn sales throughout the world, right here in Las Vegas. A pirate ship in the middle of the Las Vegas Strip. My kind of town. Stand back. The Battle of Treasure Island is about to begin. That was a blast. Yeah, much time for your heart to beat wild in the country. Yeah, baby, this is Red Rock Canyon, one of the most spectacular spots in the Mojave Desert. You can go hiking and climbing and just enjoy all the beautiful scenery like girls, girls, girls. And they do look great in their dance and sportswear, don't they? Yeah, perfect for a tour of one of Nevada's most spectacular sites, Hoover Dam. This is a real engineering wonder. The power plant supplies electricity to three states. Talk about electricity. Check out this guy. You never know who you'll meet around here. After that, I think we all need some R&R by the pool. And from Jansen, the official swimwear of the Miss Universe pageant, tonight's winner receives $10,000, plus an exciting wardrobe of Jansen swimwear and sportswear. All from Jansen, whose clean water campaign is dedicated to keeping America's beaches beautiful. From Hawaiian Tropic Sun Care Products, the new Miss Universe receives a one-week trip for two to Hawaii. Hawaiian Tropic World Class Sun Protection, available in over 85 countries around the world. Aloha from Hawaiian Tropic. Now, baby, that's Paradise Wine style. Why don't you go put your party clothes on, because we got more of the town to paint tonight. Viva Las Vegas! Oh, I agree, Chelsea. And now let's meet this beautiful young woman in person. She's had a spectacular year. First, she won the 1995 Miss USA crown. Then she went on to win the Miss Universe crown as well. Our reigning Miss Universe, Chelsea Smith. Oh, you're still gorgeous as ever. Oh, thank you very much, Marla. Tell me, you're the first Miss USA in 15 years to win the Miss Universe title. Tell me what your year must have been like. It's been a wonderful year. I've traveled the world, and I've seen so many different places. It's been a year definitely to remember. That's <laughs> terrific. As we mentioned earlier, you members of our viewing audience have been voting in the past few weeks on our internet site for the Miss Photogenic Award. That's right, and we now have the results. Congratulations to Eileen Lang Demiles, Miss Philippines. She receives a $1,000 award and a Miss Universe trophy. It's time now to find out who made it into the finals, so let's go back to Bob. Okay, Marla and Chelsea, thanks. Well, delegates, we, had, we have added and averaged the scores from the three semifinal events, and we're now ready to announce the top six who are going to go on to the finals. I'm going to read these names in random order. Good luck, ladies. The first of our finalists is Miss Aruba Tareen Mansell.
The second of our six semifinalists is Miss Russia, Elmira Shamsutinova. Miss USA, Elmira Miss Finland, Lola Odisoga. Two spots remaining. One goes to Miss Venezuela, Alicia Machado. Only one other woman can go on to become Miss Universe, and she is Miss Mexico, Vanessa Guzman. Can you feel the tension in this room? <laughs> Definitely. Now, Chelsea, you know what's about to happen now is the judge's question. Yes. You went through this round of competition twice in, I think, three months. What was that like? Well, you know, as long as you keep your composure, you speak from your heart and from your mind, and you should do okay. Great yeah. advice. And don't forget, all the previous scores have now been erased, so the six finalists begin competing again in this high-tension event. Don't miss it. We'll be right back. The 1996 Miss Universe pageant continues. Once again, your host, Bob Dolan. All right, we continue now with our live competition from Las Vegas, and this round is the judge's question, the round which will determine the final three competitors for the title of Miss Universe. Ladies, I want to remind you that now all of your scores that you've earned up until now are erased. You're starting from here on out on an even footing. Now, here's what's going to happen. You're going to come up here, select the judge's name out of this bowl, that judge will ask you a question. You'll have 20 seconds to answer that question. And as they vote, the judges will see a video reminder of each delegate so that the judge's overall impression, as well as the delegate's answer, will determine her score. We begin with Miss Aruba, Tareen Mansell. Go ahead, select the name. You have gone with judge number five. That is Starletta Dupois. Who do you think should make birth control decisions, the government or individual women? ¿Quién consideras tú que debe de tomar la decisión en cuanto al control de la natalidad? En cuanto al control de la natalidad, o el gobierno o la mujer propia. A mí me parece que la mujer propia, porque la mujer propia tiene... Ella tiene que escoger lo que ella quiere. Ella es dueña de su cuerpo y toma decisiones por sí misma. I believe it should be the woman herself because she is the possessor of her own body and uh, she deserves to make the decision herself, by herself. Mr. Ruba, stay right here. Let the judges lock in their scores on Tareem Mansell. Next is Miss Russia, Ilmira Shamsutinova. Into the bowl you go, and you picked judge number three. That is Terry Ann Lynn. Terry Ann, your question for Miss Russia. Would you marry a man who wants to stay home and care for the children while you support the family? Вы бы вышли замуж за мужчину, который хотел бы быть дома и заботиться о семье, о детях, пока вы в то время, как вы работаете? Конечно же, как любая женщина, я хочу иметь счастливую семью и хочу иметь семью в которой у меня будет уют, в которой у меня будут прекрасные дети, и, естественно, я хотел бы иметь такого мужа. Of course, as, 
As every woman uh, wishes uh, to have a happy family, I would like to have a, a happy family myself, happy uh, and healthy children, and of course I would like to have a husband who would like to stay home. All right, here come the scores from the judges for Miss Russia. Thank you, Elmira. Now, Miss USA, Allie Landry. Into the bowl. You selected judge number nine. That is Fred Williamson. Fred, your question. Allie! Yes. Other than this pageant, what is the greatest challenge in your life at this time? At this time, the greatest challenge for me is um, I I'm very close to my family. I have a huge family. They are, again, my support system. I'm away from them right now, so it's hard for me. And, and I know the importance of family, and that's something that I truly believe, on, believe in, and I speak on it very often, about the breakdown of the family unit, because I think a lot of our problems stem from that. So that's something that's very important to me. All right. Thank you, Allie. Here come the scores for the judges on Miss USA. Thank you, Miss USA. Now, Miss Finland, Lola Otisoga. Here we go, into the bowl. Let's see here. Judge number two, Jim Nance, what's your question? Bob, do you think it's important for women to have equal opportunities with men to participate in sports? And if so, why? Uh, can you explain a little bit? Do you think women should have the same opportunity to compete in the same sports or have funding to be able to have more sports than men? Well, of course, women should have the same opportunity and because I want people to be equal as a man and as a woman. There should be no, um, no more respect of man or the woman. They should be very equal. All right, stay right here. Here come the judges' scores for Miss Finland. Next is Miss Venezuela, Alicia Machado. Five judges remain in the bowl, and you have selected judge number one. That's Maud Adams. Maud, your question. If you could choose only one, would you choose smart, rich, or beautiful, or why? Si pudieras elegir solamente una, elegirías ser inteligente, bella, o rica, y por qué? Yo escogería ser inteligente, porque con la inteligencia puedes lograr ser rica y bella. Son dos cosas. Para mí, pienso que la inteligencia te hace no solamente bella por dentro, sino también bella por fuera. Y aparte que con la inteligencia puedes lograr muchísimas otras cosas y desarrollarte en lo que tú quieras. I would choose to be smart, because being smart, you can also be rich and beautiful. And besides that, when you are smart, you can also develop yourself internally, and that can help you do many, many other things. All right. Thank you, Ms. Venezuela. Stay right here. Here come the scores. Stay right here. This is Ms. Venezuela. Come here. Come here. Come here. Vote. I'm still voting on you. Now you can go back. Okay. Now, Ms. Mexico. Vanessa Guzman. Into the bowl. Judge number eight, Cecilia Boloco. In today's world, women have proven that there is a place for them in any field. But taking into account all human history, who do you think is the greatest woman and why? In the world of today, the history has proven that the woman can create a place in any place. However, in the history of the history of the history of humanity, who would you say that has been the most important woman and why? Well, personally, I think that Indira Gandhi has been one of the most important women in the world. She has fought for the uh, personal, for um, los derechos humanos. She's fought for human rights. Right, for human rights. And she always tried to make men and women equal, and for all the people as well. Okay, stay right where you are. Here come the votes for Miss Mexico.
Thank you very much, Vanessa. Well, thank you all, ladies. Those were great answers and really good questions, too, judges. Thanks to you, too. Who are the final three? We'll find out when we come back, so stay with us. come now to narrow our field to the final three delegates whom the judges have selected to continue in tonight's competition. First of all, let me just say that you have all represented your countries beautifully tonight, and you should congratulate yourselves on a job well done. But unfortunately, we can only choose three, so here we go. I will need read these names in random order. The first of our final three is Miss Finland. Miss Venezuela! One more woman, and she is Miss Aruba! There they are, the final three candidates for the title of Miss Universe 1996. Can you stand it? We're going right now to the very last round of competition, the final question. Once again, all the previous scores are deleted, so this is a crucial moment. There's so much at stake. Let's find out who can handle it. Here's Bob. Now, here we go with the last competition of the evening. This is the final question. I'm gonna ask each of you the same question. We'll have 20 seconds in which to answer, and to make sure Aruba and Venezuela don't hear the question, while I ask Finland, you two have to go into that soundproof booth. So if you would, please, Go back there, and Miss Finland, come on over here, Lola. And here, stand right over there if you would, please. And here is your question. What do you think men can learn from women? Well, I think women are a very bright person. Well, um, I think smart, and because uh, women, they, have, they are the ones that give birth. They are the ones that has to share love with men. They have to learn men how to love. Thank you. Okay, step right over here if you would, please. Next is Miss Venezuela. Come on up, Alicia, right here. Question is, what do you think men can learn from women? La pregunta es, ¿qué tú crees que puede aprender los hombres de las mujeres? Yo considero que muchísimas cosas, porque gracias a nosotras, los hombres están aquí y están en este momento, en este teatro, aplaudiéndome a mí, que soy una mujer, y me aplauden porque estoy en un concurso de belleza. I believe that they can learn very much, because thanks to us women, the men are here in this beautiful theater, seeing this beautiful contest, and applauding me because I am a beautiful woman. All right, thank you, Ms. Venezuela. Right over there, please. And finally, Miss Aruba. Here is your question. What do you think men can learn from women? ¿Qué crees tú que puede aprender el hombre de la mujer? El hombre de la mujer puede aprender la sensibilidad, o sea, ser más humano, no ahogarse en su propio yo, luchar por um, la capacidad de lucha que tenemos nosotros y la poder mental que tenemos nosotras. I believe that man can learn sensitivity from women. Man can learn warmth from women. I believe that man can learn a great deal from everything that we have to offer. All right, thank you, Ms. Arruba. Step over here, please, and there we go. The moment now for our judges to make their final decision. As each of our final three delegates comes forward, the judges will vote for her as either the second runner-up, the first runner-up, or the new Miss Universe. Remember now, this vote is based on the judge's overall impression of the delegate during the competition this evening, in addition to her answer in the final question. So judges, now you are voting on who you feel will be the best Miss Universe for 1996. And we begin with Miss Finland.
is Venezuela. And finally, Miss Aruba. Young women, aren't they something? They're amazing. And who do you think the judges have chosen to wear the crown? We'll find out in just a few moments, so stay with us. We're back, live from Las Vegas, and we're about to crown the new Miss Universe. But first, let's find out what happened to Chelsea Smith in the final episode of her very unusual tour of this city. Blue, blue, blue suede shoes. Well, I don't know about blue suede, but tonight's winner will take home shoes for every need, for every occasion. Dressy, casual, and active footwear for the important events and fun activities in her life. Plus, $7,500 in cash. All from Payless, the official footwear for tonight's pageant. Doesn't it feel good to pay less? Well, let's see you got the jewels out of all for the occasion. This is the Miss Universe Diamond Signature brooch that tonight's winner will take home. A creation of Hammerman, New York, world-renowned jeweler, dazzling with over three carats of brilliant diamonds. The brooch was designed by Hammerman, a symbol of Miss Universe's global travels in the year ahead. It's beautiful, baby. You know I did more than 400 shows here in the Hilton in the 70s. I know, and the big hit now is the Starlight Express. It's a great show. Why don't you go on in and enjoy it? The new Miss Universe will radiate confidence and individuality during her year of global appearances, wearing her fabulous wardrobe of elegant Zoom Zoom and Nikki Evening Attire by Nikki Levis, New York. And before the show, the delegates got a special treat, a visit to rehearsal and a chance to meet the cast. <laughs> Even in the old days, audiences knew that Las Vegas was the place to see big stars. Hollywood favorites were up close and personal on the stage. Those were the days when one small hotel after another began to appear like mirages in the desert, and the famous strip was born. Today, the hotels are so spectacular that they're an attraction all by themselves. You can take a world tour and see some of the country's most amazing architecture without ever leaving town. This city is so bright that the astronauts can actually see from space. But one thing remains the same. Las Vegas is still the place to see the biggest stars performing in person. And of course, they can see you. I had the most wonderful time on my tour. How can I ever thank you? Well, the night is still young, honey, so why don't you be my little... Good luck, child. But I have to go. They're about to crown the winner, and I have to make my last appearance as Miss Universe. Well, then you go on, darling. I guess I'll just be lonesome I doubt that. Good Will night, Elvis. you miss me tonight? Are you sorry we drifted apart? Thanks, Chelsea and Elvis. That and was Elvis. a great tour. Oh, yeah, it sure was. And now, as we prepare to crown the new Miss Universe, it is time to say farewell to our 1995 title holder. She has worn two crowns in the past 18 months, and she has worn them both beautifully. Yeah, please welcome for the last time as Miss Universe, Chelsea Smith. Uh -huh.
What an incredible year this has been. The things I have seen and learned will be treasures of knowledge for my career and life ahead. Thank you, Lord, for blessing me with the strength and guidance that has helped me this year and through my life. To my family, thank you all for your constant love and support. I love you. To Kelly and the Blair family, thank you for helping me realize my dreams. I love all of you. To Miss Universe staff, thank you for letting me actually live some of those dreams. To all of my friends, thank you for letting me be Chelsea. To Stephen Yurek, thank you for making me look and feel like the true Miss Universe. And to my successor, the road ahead is not an easy one. It takes patience and hard work, but it will be an experience of a lifetime. To be the universe, you have to reach for the stars. Peace, love, and equality. Thank you, Chelsea, for being such a terrific Miss Universe. We wish you all the best of luck in the future. Absolutely. And thanks to all 79 of our delegates tonight. You have done a splendid job. You have all represented your country so magnificently. Haven't they, though? Yeah. Well, our thanks also to the city of Las Vegas for their hospitality and entertainment during these past weeks. You guys have been great. Thank you so much. Now we are ready to reveal the second and first runners-up and the new Miss Universe. To assist us, please welcome Miss Team USA, yeah. Keely Sue Sanders. Hey, Keely. Now we have the accounting firm of Ernst & Young, and they have reviewed the results for accuracy. Mr. Mark Ward is here. Thank you, Mark. He has the handout, and these are the results. Stand by, ladies. Here comes the second runner-up, Miss Finland, Lola Odesoga. And then there were two. Oh. Now we are about to reveal the name of the first runner-up and the new Miss Universe, and we want to remind you of the importance of the first runner-up. It's a critical position. That's right, because if for any reason Miss Universe cannot complete her reign, the first runner-up will become Miss Universe. Okay, ladies, this is it. Are you ready? You want to take a deep breath? <sighs> Let's all relax, shall we? Oh, I am. Good luck. The first runner-up is... Miss Aruba, Miss Venezuela, you are the new Miss Universe. <laughs> Alicia Machado, congratulations. You are the new Miss Universe. The cash awards, the gifts, they're all yours. Now, so is the stage. Miss Universe, Alicia Machado, don't go that way. Come this way and say hello to your world. On behalf of Marla Maples, Trump, Chelsea Smith, Michael Crawford, and the new Miss Universe, Alicia Machado, this is Bob Golan saying good night from Las Vegas. Good night, everybody. Some people are stunned. Some are very sad, fighting back the tears, knowing that May 19th will be the final episode of Murder, She Wrote. The end of anything you really care about can be very upsetting, but it's okay. You're not alone. Just remember, on Sunday, May 19th, we'll all be together for one last crime.